Good afternoon. I'm going to try that again. I, I'm a former sixth grade teacher, and uh, when I call, I expect a response of some sort. So good afternoon. Much better. I feel at home now. Uh, so my name is Jeff Nelson. I'm co-founder and CEO of Urban Students Empowered, or Us Empowered for short. And I first just have to say how incredibly excited I am to be here. I'm a Chicago guy, born and raised. I've been a Bears fan since I was that young. Unfortunately, a Cubs fan uh, for the same amount of time. And I believe that this week has the catalytic potential to make Chicago the hub of social innovation globally. So thank you for being here. Today I'm going to be talking about closing the college gap in the United States, a topic that is as complex as it is important, and yet I've got seven minutes. So I want you to focus in on three specific questions, and if you can answer these in the next six minutes, I've done my job. First, why does college matter? Secondly, why do teachers matter? And third, why does grade 13 matter, or freshman year of college? So first, let me introduce you to a very special person from our organization, L'Oreal Latimer. When I met L'Oreal in 2007, she was a junior at Corliss High School on Chicago's South Side. In L'Oreal's first semester of high school, she earned a 1.8 GPA. By the time I met her halfway through, she was in the middle of the pack. She, if you met her for 30 seconds, though, you would realize that she was capable. She was talented, she was brilliant, but she felt directionless and stagnant. And honestly, her prospects post high school were very different than they would have been just a few decades ago. So let me tell you why. In 1980, 25% of our GDP in the US came from manufacturing, 25. Today, that number has dwindled to 11. And the vast majority of those jobs have moved to the social sector, excuse me, the service sector. And that's important because the vast majority of those jobs require some post-secondary education. In fact, by 2014, 22 of the 30 fastest growing careers in the US will require some post-secondary education. And by the time a college graduate finishes his or her career, he or she will have earned $1.2 million more than a peer who never went to college. So today in this economy, we argue that college is a prerequisite for success on every level. The good news is that young folks are paying attention. In 1980, of 10th graders surveyed, only 40% aspired to earn a bachelor's degree or higher. Today, that number is 80. It has doubled. And in many ways, the aspiration gap in our country has started to close. At the same moment, our academic or achievement gap has actually widened. So if you are a student growing up in the highest economic quartile in the US today, you have an 82% chance of graduating with a four-year college degree. 82. That's pretty good. However, if you attend the Chicago Public School System, a district that serves over 400,000 kids, you have an 8% chance of graduating with a four-year college degree. Eight. Now, there are clear moral implications to that number, but there are also serious economic implications. Try to envision a global marketplace, and you're a city, and 92% of your workforce can't enter the middle class. So this, folks, is why college matters so much today. So what about teachers? When I came on board to this organization four and a half years ago, there was over a decade's worth of empirical, unambiguous evidence that said teachers matter most. In fact, of over 20 factors that impact student learning, ranging from poverty level and funding for a school to curriculum, the single greatest factor that impacts student achievement, the quality of the instructor in front of the classroom. And so what differentiates our model at Us Empowered is that we work exclusively and train exclusively high-performing, exceptional educators to be the focal point of our work. It's that simple. The radical big idea is that we can galvanize exceptional teachers, even a generation of great teachers, to ensure that underperforming kids in their high schools are graduating with four-year college degrees by the time they're in their mid-20s. So how does it work? First, we identify these folks. And we partner with organizations like Teach for America or the New Teacher Project or Golden Apple who already have quantitative evidence on their teachers. We pinpoint the best and we work with them exclusively. Next, those teachers identify underperforming kids in their high schools, like L'Oreal, who need more resources and support to get to and through college. And the crux of our work is a three-year course, junior year, senior year, 
through the end of freshman year of college that is 40 minutes daily embedded, embedded into the academic day, credit bearing, graded, and it ensures that our kids not only get to their top choice college, but are prepared to graduate. So let's revisit L'Oreal. Two years after we started working with her, she graduated from Corliss. She had increased her GPA by 1.16 points in two years. Her ACT score, 20% higher. She enrolled in the University of Illinois, her top choice school, and oh, by the way, Bill and Melinda Gates footed the bill. Not bad. But what's more exciting is that type of transformation is scalable and replicable. So historically, to date, 99% of our students have been admitted into four-year colleges, 99. 94% of our students have enrolled the first day of college, and 83% of our alumni are persisting in higher education. And this is why teachers matter. So for us, it all comes down to one moment. For us, it's our fourth quarter, it's our two-minute drill. It's when L'Oreal shows up as a freshman in college and sits next to that high-income peer. Because for the first moment in education, she is sitting in the same class with the same teacher learning the same content as somebody from an entirely different education system. But when L'Oreal has been supported by the best teacher in high school, when she's been trained to meet with every professor within the first 10 days, when she is intentionally studying for midterms the minute she arrives on campus, she and that high-income friend walk out of their freshman English class with the same grade, an A. Gap closed. And that is why grade 13 matters. So for us, it all boils down to one question. What if every great teacher in America was equipped to change their school? Well, folks, we intend to find that out. Thank you.